All right. How is everyone doing today? All right. So I just wanted to share my experience uh, with AWS certification, and I took it at the PS Site Test Center here in Dallas, and I did Certified Developer Associate exam. Okay. So before this, I did my Cloud Practitioner exam, and that one I took it from my home. And it was actually pretty easy to set up and you're going to actually have once you schedule it, uh, your exam before it actually begins, you're going to pretty much do more like a video call with the uh, with the test center folks from AWS. They're going to check everything around you want to make sure there's no return things that you don't have any notes around you. And there should not be any people around you, even in front of you, back of you or nothing. And you need to have, the main thing is you need to have a reliable internet, okay? So this time I took it, uh, I wanted to go to the test center because one thing is I do have a good internet connection, but sometimes it can get a little spotty. So I don't want to take the chance. And second main reason is, um, you cannot get up um, from your chair if you're taking it from your home, okay? Like no restroom breaks, absolutely no interference for, of anyone coming into the room also, okay? Because of those two reasons and test centers are back open right now uh, because, you know, pandemic has started to kind of slow down, right? So the test centers opened up, I got my date booked. So, and it was pretty close by. So I thought, okay, I might as well go there and take it. So here's my experience, okay? So I went there a little early, uh, almost like half an hour early. And it was it was nice that I could actually start my exam early, okay? But before the exam begins, you need to more do more like a check-in there at the test center. And uh, they're gonna ask you to, once the check-in is done, they're gonna take a picture, verify your ID and whatnot. And once that's done, you're gonna have to take your jacket off if you're wearing like hoodies or anything. So you have to take anything with a zipper off you have to take it off and put it to a hanger there. And they're gonna leave, give you a locker, locker box. So you, you have to put every, like your wallet, phone, everything in there, okay? Including your water bottle and uh, including your watch, okay? It doesn't have to be smart watch. Even if you have like any digital watch or regular watch, they're gonna ask you to take out, okay? And they provided me a calculator and uh, a pencil and a notepad basically to you know, pencil and to a scratch pad to write things and if I want to do any calculations and things. And so that's about the check-in experience. And um, in terms of the room, it's actually more like an exam hall where you had like shared cubicles, just like an office setup. The one that I went to had about 20 people can take exam at the same time, okay? So you gotta be prepared mentally for, um, like, you know, people walking around you, there can be, you know, a little bit of noises around you also, because it has like a door, uh, the door can make the noise when everyone, every time someone goes in and out, it makes a noise. So you have to be mentally ready for that. So that's one thing. And then um, other thing is they did have the headphones in that cubicle. I thought they were more like a noise cancellation. So, but no, so they were basic headphones. I think it's basically for, if you have any English exam, like listening or things like that, you can use those, but for AWS, we don't need to. And um, so the screen was wide for me, wide and big. Okay, I'm used to 13 inch and 15 inch. So it was kind of a little bit of time it took to prepare for that, to get adjusted. But other than that, the navigation was pretty easy. And, uh, you know, my exam, my, I felt it was a little challenging, but, you know, I wish you good luck. I could do another video. I have another video actually coming up for how I prepared for the AWS Certified Developer Associate and the resources that I've used. I can do that and I'll be releasing that probably in a week. So with that, um, you know, I hope this helps. Any questions, if you have, let me know. And, um, you know, yeah, navigation went pretty easy, actually. And after the exam, here's the, here's the funny part, okay? I was curious to see my, I was a little tensed, little nervous to see my result. But then uh, once you're done with your, uh, you know, finally submit your test for results, there is a survey, okay, that AWS put together, okay? You have to go through it. Pretty much, I think there were like two surveys, 
okay and then you get the result and I, of course i'm happy that to share that i was passed and i got about 78 or 80 percent i'm not like a top scorer but i'm you know happy to get that done and uh, this is basically to upskill myself and in my career right so but it was very good experience so i hope you know you got a benefit out of this video you know and wish you good luck if you're preparing for any exam especially if it is for aws i wish you good luck okay Thank you. Bye.